get ready, get ready, get ready to be inspired. Let's get moving toward our goals. And here to make that happen is our host, Yaya Diamond. Well, here we are. We are daring to be different once more, once more. This is your host, Yaya Diamond, and you're listening to us on many different radio stations. Now, I don't even want to go down the list, but I want to thank you all for listening in. We are reaching so many millions and millions of people, and uh, let me tell you something. Changes are about to happen, and like I always say, if you want to change, you must face yourself. And here we are on Dream Chasers Radio. We're going to go ahead and go with our first guest. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. Please tell everyone who you are and what you do, please. Hi, I'm Shannon Kay. Um, I'm a pop singer, and um, I was born in India, brought up in London, and now I'm currently living in Los Angeles to pursue my career. Um, I did my debut single when I was 12, and um, I learned my music from Royal Music of London, and that's where I did my classical uh, training from, and yeah, that's about it. Awesome. Awesome. Now, tell us about your new single that you have called Lately, please. Um, Lately is actually about... um, It's basically about, you know, an encouragement and being strong and confident. Um, And, you know, just to tell people that a woman can be um, independent without a man, you know. And it kind of helps me to conquer my inner fears as well. You know, it's just a very, it's a very encouraging song for everybody, to be honest. And it's got a great uh, meaning to it and a lovely um, tune to it, and it's really good to vibe. Awesome. And then did you write that? Uh, yes, I did. Awesome. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and play that song right here on Dream Chasers Radio. Here it is, Shannon K. with Lately. Oh, oh, oh. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. So tell us what, I mean, why did you write that song and how did that song come about? So it's, a, I know it's about a woman who can, you know, hold her own, but why, I mean, why would you go down that route? I really like the song, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I guess it's kind of like, uh, well, I usually write songs that are inspired by um, either my surroundings or something that I take from, you know, my personal experience. And mm -hmm. um, this song, I just wanted to share with everyone because I think it had a strong message to it. And, you know, also, and like, I've never been in a relationship before, but like, I was hurt due to the experiences that I had seen happening with my friends. Um, since they mm -hmm. were in a relationship, and I guess I took that in and worked on it for my lyrics. Okay, all right, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, what's what's next for you? What's going on? How can we, you know, what can we do and expect from you now? Um. Well, I am actually waiting to, you know, just do just to make more music and more meaningful music and to probably like um, collaborate with, you know, other artists. I think that's mm -hmm. really what um, I guess I'm planning to do on and uh, yeah, just keep making music and probably like go on tours and, you know, perform in front of my fans. I think that's like pretty cool. And that's going to be a great thing. I, I look forward to that. So, okay. So, what has been, <clears throat> excuse me, the most challenging thing that has come up in your career thus far? Um, the most challenging thing I think is, um, because like my dad is a famous, you know, Bollywood singer, and so, mm -hmm. um, I guess I'm always compared to him every now and then, and. Um, you know, there are like a lot of expectations and, um, you know, a lot, a lot of responsibility, which, um, you know, I'm not very happy to take, but I also kind of like, you know, just want to tell the people that, you know, his career is like way older than me. And so, <laughs> you know, I can, I can never achieve what he has achieved. Like, you know, he has so many, um, records and so many achievements and, you know, such great things. And I'm just like, you know, I'm just a beginner, and I guess I'm, I guess, you know, it's going to take, like, a million years to, you know, even achieve one of his achievements, so, um, but, you know, I'll just try my best, and I'll follow my dad's footsteps, and, you know, I'll just kind of, like, do my best to, um, you know, be as good as I can. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I've had you on the show before, haven't I? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, since you've been on the show, what what have you, what has changed for you, um, you know, in, in your career, and how has it progressed since the last time we spoke? Um, like as in, in career wise, I think a lot of things have happened. Um, you know, I've gotten like, um really good opportunities to um, showcase my talent. Like uh, recently I performed um, at the Hollywood Post um, 43 for the American um, Legion and I sang the national anthem. I think that was like, um, you know, one of the proudest moment ever. And I felt I was like really honored. So I think career wise, um, there has been progress and I'm, you know, I'm really happy about my, about that. And, you know, I'm mm -hmm. just looking forward to, um, you know, the future, just to keep on making good music and share it with everyone. Wow. And you know what? I commend you because that takes a lot. It, it, it takes a lot to, to continue your career and to keep going and taking those ups and downs as they come. And I want to say that I am looking forward to having you back on the show. Um, what was your first song that you have ever made and, how did it feel to put that song right out on the on the radio? Um, my first ever song was uh, my debut single, which is called Roll Back the Years. And I was 12 at that time, and my sister wrote the lyrics, and she was nine. And, you know, I guess that was, like, so unexpected because 
um, it was obviously my dad's decision to, you know, kind of like put it out there. Um, but I'm, I'm really happy now that I see, uh, you know, everyone just praising about that, uh, you know, that song because it's really meaningful and it's got a lot of emotions in it. And I guess, um, you know, me and my sister, we always write together and we always make music together and it's really great fun. And I guess, um, you know, seeing all the people comment me and giving me feedbacks about like, you know, how much they love my voice, how much they love my music, it kind of like encouraged me to, you know, continue to make more good music. So, yeah. That is awesome, and I think I, t- I did tell you that one of my favorite movies ever to watch is the Bollywood movies. I love Bollywood movies. I, me and my daughter, we, <laughs> we, I don't know. That's like my, my confession, but I really do love them. I think they're very nice movies and, and very happy-go-lucky a lot of times, and sometimes they're not. But just the, the whole thing of just having that skill of being able to sing and dance and act all at once is just amazing to me, and I love it. And uh, yeah. I want to thank you for following in what you believe is to be your dream. Um, If someone were to ask you, you know, what would be the one suggestion that you would make at this point in your career to me, what would it be? Um, Well, I guess I would just, you know, kind of suggest people who want to follow, who want to do something in their career to, like, never give up. You know, that's, like, the biggest thing ever because – there are a lot of people out there who would, you know, always try to bring you down and always discourage you in every way possible. But as long Mm. as you believe in yourself and as long as you don't give up, I think you can achieve anything and everything that you wish for. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I thank you for being on the show and uh, you got to come back when you have your new single because I I still got you. I still have your other one and I'll play it. (laughs) So, you know, I'm keeping this one too. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> thank, thank you so, you so much, much Shannon for just being no problem thank you for being true to your dream and keep going keep going okay thank Don't you stop. so much thank you um, all right then we'll talk again soon yes we will <laughs> okay <laughs> all right and that was Shannon K you know it's awesome to follow people's career and to see that they're still going and they're still planning, they're still doing what they're doing, I am so proud of her, and I I just wish the best for her. And starting so young, and then her sister writing her song at nine years old, that was awesome. I think that's lovely. And, uh, wow, Shannon Kay, you guys watch out for her. She's going to be someone really big uh, really soon. 